We're spending so much time in Premiere that we're getting used to the way we edit. Now once we feel comfortable, we settle and we stop growing. That is a bad idea. If you want to grow until you reach the top 1% of video editors, you need to continue learning, which is why I have 10 tricks in Premiere Pro you might not know yet. Getting rid of resonance in your speech. A lot of times when you're recording, your audio sound like this. That way the other sounds in the channel rack will be muted. It's an annoying resonance that you can get rid of easily. To do that, go to the effect library and find the EQ, then drag it on your audio clip. Now with that clip selected, go to the effect controls and click on edit to open up the EQ. You'll see the entire audio spectrum, from the lows to the mids and the highs. Now the annoying resonance is somewhere in here. To find it, we're gonna take one of these bands and drag them up, then make it extremely narrow and precise. Now we can sweep slowly through the entire spectrum until you find a sharp resonating sound. That way the other sounds in the channel rack will be muted. That way the other sounds in the channel rack will be muted. That way the there it is. Once you have it, use the properties on the bottom to turn down the resonance. You can also make it a little wider if needed. The channel rack will be muted. That way the other sounds in the channel rack will be muted. There you go. Number two, mask tracking for color grading your face. Sometimes the HSL can't correctly select your face, especially when there's a lot of background elements with the same color as your face. Now to fix that, we're gonna use mask tracking. Simply open up a Lumetri effect on your video and head over to the effect controls. Then before doing anything, go to the first frame of the clip. Then click the pen tool to create a mask. Now in the program monitor, draw a mask around your face face. This doesn't have to be precise because we're gonna feather it anyway. Open up the mask tracker settings and make sure the preview is enabled. Then click the mask track forward button and let Premiere do its thing. There you go. Your face is now tracked. Every adjustment you now make in Lumetri will only be applied to the inside of the mask. Let's give her some color and a little bit of contrast. Now to get rid of the hard edges, simply increase the mask feather and there you go. Number 3. Pasting Attributes In Premiere, you unfortunately can't select all of your clips and then adjust the scale and position or apply any effects at the same time. However, you can make your adjustments to one clip, for example this one. Let's do a scale and position. Then back in the timeline, select the clip you've adjusted and hit Ctrl plus C to copy it. Now select all the clips that you want the same effects to be on. Don't hit Ctrl plus V to paste it, that will ruin it. Instead, hold Ctrl plus Alt plus V. This will open up this window that allows you to choose which which attributes you want to paste on your clips. If you have any effects applied, you'll see them in here. Click on OK and now the attributes of the first clip are pasted. Number 4. Using a plugin that's connected to a stock library. This allows you to search for a stock video you need and when you download one, it will simply appear in the project panel. This plugin is from Storyblocks, the sponsor of today's video. In this plugin, you can download over a million HD and 4K resolution assets from drone shots, space videos or even sick background animations. Everything you need need unlimited. They also have music, sound effects and images for just one predictable subscription cost. You don't have to pay an expensive price per clip you want to download ever again. Now if you want to level up your videos and work so much faster at the same time, I highly encourage you again to choose from thousands pre-made professional templates. They're made for Premiere, After Effects, Apple Motion and DaVinci Resolve. These will help you create professional looking videos. Anything you download with Storyblocks is 100% royalty free. So no need to worry about copyright or anything like that. Now, until the end of May 2024, Storyblocks has a little present for you guys. If you sign up for the annual individual license plan, you can get three additional months completely for free. Just go to storyblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics. Now it's time for trick number five, using the audio track mixer. In the window menu on top, click the audio track mixer and once it's open, you can see these different mixer tracks. Each one represents the audio track in the timeline. Now on top, you can see an effects rack. In here, you can apply audio effects. That way the effects will be applied to the entire audio track instead of every clip separately. If we go a little lower, you can use a panning knob. This is useful to pan audio to the left or the right. Then you can of course mute or single a track just like in the timeline. And with the fader, you can increase or decrease its volume. I actually use this in every video. Number 6. Rendering Previews Bad playback in Premiere is so annoying, especially if you want to check your video before exporting. To do that, go to the Sequence tab on top and click on Render into out. 
Now let Premiere do its thing and as you can see the timeline has a green bar on top. This means it's rendered and you can play it back perfectly. If you want you can go to the export panel on top and then on the bottom you can enable previews when exporting. Premiere is then gonna use these rendered previews when exporting which will make it so much faster. However you don't always want to keep these rendered files. This is where number 7 comes in. Remove them. If you rendered your video and everything looks okay you can go ahead and export it. However if you restarted your PC or restarted Premiere don't trust Premiere. Premiere has a lot of bugs. I mean sometimes your fonts will disappear, your media is offline because it just can't find it or your linked compositions won't stop loading. In the timeline everything looks great because of the rendered files. But there might actually be a lot missing and you won't see it until you exported the final video. That's why if you restarted your PC you should always remove the rendered files like this. Before exporting of course. There you go. Number 8. Color matching to clips. Let's say you have a clip that you really like. You wish there was a way to copy the color grade and paste it onto another clip. Well you're in luck my friend because if you open up the Limetri panel go to the color wheels and match tab and enable comparison view. This will allow you to view both your clips. The reference clip is the color grade you want to copy. The other video is the one you want to match. Now all you need to do is click on the match button in Limetri and that's it. Still an underrated feature because even if the match is a little bit off you can still tweak the color grade afterwards. Number 9. Stretching markers. A lot of you guys still don't know this but if you place a marker in the timeline you can hold alt and then drag it to expand it. You can then double click it and change the color or perhaps even leave a note. I'm using this in every edit and it really helps me to navigate my video. For trick number 10 I want to show you fixes for these five stupid things in Premiere that you don't want to miss out on. So to continue the lesson click the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching.